Hi everyone, it's Miss Amber from Room 15 Jeanette, and um, I'm here to share with you some of the activities that we did today in class. Um, one thing that we talked about, um, again, was the letter H. We reviewed the letter H today, and we were reminded that the letter H makes the ha 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 sound. So make sure you're practicing that. Um, I also had the kids um, watch me draw a few H's today. So I'm going to go ahead and draw capital H today. So to draw a capital H, it's just a line down, a line down, and a line over. So a line down, a line down, and a line over. So you have these in your bags. Um, you have them in your take-home bag, and you also have an Expo marker in your um, pink bucket as well. So it'd be um, a nice activity for you to sit and do at home. You can draw some letter H's and practice that. So go ahead and use it. We did that today. And then on the learning calendar today, um, there were some activities. One of the activities we did was um, there was an activity in there that was pumpkin. You could use pumpkin seeds and an ice cube tray, and you could um, basically number one to 12 on that ice cube tray and you could use pumpkin seeds to count out. Um, I didn't have pumpkin seeds available so I just used pom-pom balls. You have those pom-pom balls in your pink buckets as well and um, I also let the kids use their own clothespin and we just practiced um, squeezing and using pom-pom balls and then we placed one pom-pom ball in the one cup and then we did two pom-pom balls in the number two cup and so forth and they really enjoyed it and then I allowed them to take them back out and put them back in. So it's good for fine motor skills and good for counting and good for organization. We did that as well and there is also um, a learning game activity that you can do and it's called remembering pictures. Um, I just used, um, I just have some flashcards here that um, I'm going to use for that. So I have um, a dog here. I have a newspaper. And I have a queen and a turtle and an octopus and a pencil and a light bulb. And so I'm just going to take a few at a time. I'm going to show you three of them. So here's my first one. A light bulb. Try to remember that. Remember that picture? A light bulb. Pencil. And an octopus. Can you remember what my first picture was? My first picture was a light bulb. Can you remember what my second picture was? It was a pencil. And my third picture was an octopus. So it's just a nice um, fun um, remembering game that you can play to help with your um, memory skills. Um, you can get pictures off the internet. You can use any flashcards that you have around, anything that you can try to memorize. Um, that was one of the learning games. Um, and I think the other thing was to talk about um, book handling and different parts of the book. So I'm going to share with you our um, Hippo Hot Book because it's our letter H book. And um, we're gonna just talk about some of the parts of the book first. So we have, the, this is called the front cover of a book. And then this is the back cover of a book. And then when you open it up, this is called the table of contents of the book. So it tells you um, what the book is going to be about. And then this is called the spine of the book. This is what holds the book together. And so when you're holding a book, you wanna make sure that you're holding it with gentle hands. You don't wanna be throwing it across the room or going like this with it bending the pages because those are the things that could tear the book and then friends and you won't be able to use it again so it's always nice to just hold your book in your hand with gentle hands whenever you're reading a book 
So I'm gonna read this book to you. And it is our age book, so make sure you're looking for some H's while I'm reading it. And it says, Henrietta Hippo and the Harvey Two. Can you see the H's? One, two, three. There's three H's on that page. Went to the zoo, hop at the zippity zoo. You see the H in that one? There's just one. Right here for hop. They wiggled their hips and their tummies too, and they danced the hula hoop at the hula below. So let's look at this page first. There is hips for one, and then over here we have hula hoop and hula below. So that's one, two, three, four. There's four. Ho, ho, he, he, doodle, dee, doo. Ho, ho, he, he, doodle, e, do. Ho, ho, he, he, hoochie, coochie, coo. Wow, there's a lot of H's in that one. So let's count them. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are thirteen H's. There's words that begin with the letter H. And they had a happy time at the hula baloo. And right here we have two words that start with the letter H, happy and hula baloo. Hobo Harry and Jorge Slew helped that night at the zippity doo. One, two, three. Three H's on that page. And then we have one, page, one H on this page. Can you find it? Is it here? Nope, that's zippity. That's z that's the Z. But help is an H word. That's our H word on this page. They served hamburgers and hot dogs too, and they had a happy time at the hula baloo. Let's count them: one, two, three, four, five. Hot dogs and hamburgers and hula baloo. Ho, ho, he, he, doodle, e, do. Ho, ho, he, he, doodle, e, do. Ho, ho, he, he, hoochie, coochie, coo. And they had a happy time at the hula baloo. Let's count them again. This is the big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen on that page. The end. And that is your Hippo Hop H book for the week. So make sure you're looking for um, H words this week. If you're looking at any other books or you're talking to anybody or you see anything when you're out and about, look for some H words. Okay. And I think that is about it for your learning games and um, your Mighty Minutes, and then I also have a book for you to listen to. It was also on your calendar. It's called um, Dog's Color. I'll pull that up for you. Or Dog's Colorful Day, sorry. Dog's Colorful Day. Thanks. Day, a messy story about colors and counting. This is dog. As you can see, dog is white with Oops, sorry. one black spot on his left ear. At breakfast time, dog sits under the table as usual, splat. A drip of red jam lands on his back. Now dog has two spots. After breakfast, dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Sploosh! His tail tips into the blue paint. Now dog has three spots. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now dog has four spots. Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! 
the boy gives dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Now dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what is going on. Swish! The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now dog has six spots. Dog trots on through the park. Splosh! A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now dog has seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncy ball splatters dog with gray mud. Now dog has eight spots. In front of the gate, dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog! Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on dog's head. Now dog has ten spots. Vicky looks down at dog. She counts his colorful spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vicky looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a brown smear of chocolate, a yellow patch of pollen, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud, an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. The end. Sorry about that. Okay, so there was your book for the day. Um, there's a couple of others on there as well if you want to take a look at those. Um, and I think that is about all for today. Um, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good night.